this video, I'm buying a custom controller from Cinch Gaming, and then I'm gonna try it in Arena. So first things first, I need to actually customize my controller. So I'm here on their website, and I'm actually gonna make myself a PS4 controller. These Damascus shells actually look so sick. Okay, I'm gonna build off of this, so I'm gonna go white buttons. I'm gonna use the black, like, pro thumbstick. For the back panel, I definitely want some sort of grip, so we got this one here. Then there's four buttons here, and I definitely wanna be able to remap them to whatever I want. So I'm gonna add that in there. The mouse click triggers are a must. And this is gonna be a brand new controller, so this is the full thing built. Alright, so the total for this thing comes out to exactly $268.66. Now the only thing left to do is just wait for it. And it is finally here. So this is my new custom PS4 controller by Cinch Gaming that has a super sick design on it. It has a textured back shell for added grip along with swappable pro thumbsticks, mouse click triggers, and this perfect four extra button layout. And if you want to check the controller out or pick one up for yourself, the link to it is in the top of my description. So I put the normal size dome stick on my left stick and then the flat tall like grippy stick on my right then on my paddles i set the top left to jump my top right paddle is on edit my bottom left paddle is on confirm and sprint and then my bottom right paddle is on a pickaxe this thing actually feels really good already let's go see how it does in arena let's go oh that was quick Whoa, there's just no way. Just so you guys know, right now I'm actually on the same linear settings I showed off in my last video. I decided to stay on them because they are actually so good. So hopefully I can do a little better on these. Bro, he is in this. What the heck? You literally can't even see him. Wow, this is... Bro, this is so much harder. Let's go. This is so much harder to fight in than I thought it was. You literally can't see. No, that was actually terrible. I hate the auto shotgun. There's just no way. <laughs> Bro, they just fully blanked him. Let's go. I'm actually feeling pretty good on this controller right now. Bro, that was another blank. What is this? <laughs> this is literally like my second arena game and I'm already like pretty used to this controller. The mouse click triggers are great just like they always are in like every controller. But specifically this four extra button layout is just so perfect. I actually really like it so far, but let's keep going. Oh. Oh, come on. Bro, this dude really went all the way in zone. <laughs> no way. He's got my kill for now. Hold up. Bro. Okay, what is this zero ping stuff? He's literally just shooting through my build. That's actually crazy. Dude, I have like no mats here. There's actually just no way. Bro. Yeah, that's whatever. I mean, that game really wasn't that bad. The price of this controller honestly isn't terrible, like, relative to other controllers that are similar to it. For one, this controller looks sick, it has a lot of good features, and it's basically the same price or less than any other, like, similar controller. The issue with a ton of these, like, premium types of controllers is durability. Like with scuffs, the number one reason people don't like scuffs is because they break so easily, and there's kind of a similar story around every single premium controller brand. So I'm curious to how this one will hold up. I obviously can't speak on the durability now because this is my first time ever using it. I don't know that I've ever actually fought someone here. Let's go, bro. My movement is nuts. I mean, maybe not really, but I got the job done. Bro, what is he doing? I mean, it's great aim practice, but what is he doing? No way. And he's in this basement. I actually feel kind of bad for this guy. <laughs> Bro, where am I getting shot from? Wait, there's a person over here. Oh, this is not good. Zone is so far. There is absolutely no way he predicted that. I didn't even mean to do that. Bro, come on. I am dipping. I'm not about to fight that. Wait. 
No way. <laughs> I needed a refresh so bad. They only have like 300 mats. So 1v1. And I can't hit a shot. No. We are literally fighting in the treetop. I'm almost out of mats. This is not good. Not gonna lie. Oh. Uh Bro, there's just not that much I can do there. I feel like every single game, I've been getting more and more comfortable on this controller. No way. Wait. Let's go. Let's go. Bro, let's go. I actually feel crazy right now. That's another thing with these extra buttons. I feel like I'm not really messing up at all on that. I feel like on a lot of controllers that have four extra buttons or four paddles, it's really easy to like fat finger and accidentally click different paddles. However, on this controller, I literally don't think I've done that once. And it's honestly so nice because clicking a paddle when you don't mean to can mess you up so badly. Holy. Dude, the aim is actually solid. How did he possibly get through that wall? Oh, that tracking was crazy. Bro, this guy is a literal master escape artist. Dude, finally. Every single time I shoot someone, I'm hitting them for like 90. Oh, this is such a weird fight. Let's go. I actually can't believe I got out of that. That's kind of crazy. Dude, this guy actually just has to be terrible. There's no way. Oh my. Bro! Oh my. I'm actually terrible. I hate the auto. It's so annoying to use. These guys are being weird. They literally were just fighting and now they like stop to focus on me. Whoa. Oh my, bro. Did I really just do this? I literally have zero mats. No way this dude's still alive. Oh. Did I crack his shoe? No way I win that. Dude, I didn't have mats and I killed the final two people. That's actually crazy. And that's in Division 6 as well. I just hit Division 6 and I got seven Elim wins. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This thing has far exceeded my expectations. The first even like three or four arena games, I was struggling a little bit. But as I started to get used to it, I'm really starting to like specifically this extra button layout. So again, the link to this controller is in the top of my description if you wanna check it out for yourself. And that's my custom cinch gaming controller thank you guys so much for watching hope to catch you in the next one